Welcome. I'd like to just go through the staff opinion survey. Uh, this is an example of a government school. All government schools were mandated to do this particular survey with uh, similar sorts of categories, although just recently that's changed. Uh, schools can d design their own, own questions to a certain degree and this a summary of this is meant to be reported on the annual report, um, although the summary misses the details and I think it would be really useful for pa if parents were able to access the detail of the staff opinion survey. Uh, here's an example of a, a school's trend over three years, 2006 to 2008. Um, so th look, look at the category that you're most interested in. We've got uh, individual morale. You can see this particular school. The state averages are the red squares and the school is the blue um, bar chart. So morale is a little bit less to start off with than the average school. Then it jumps the following year so it looks like there's been some improvement and then it settles back to the state average in the third year. Uh, school morale follows a sim similar pattern. Supportive leadership, so staff felt there wasn't supportive leadership. It looks like uh, leadership ch changed that around to a degree. Uh, it improved in the second year uh, and improved slightly in the third year. Uh, role clarity, so staff really know their roles, so that's good. Professional interaction, reasonably good. A uh, bit of a gap in the third year where staff didn't feel or well, the professional interaction was less than uh, expected against the state norms. Uh, participative decision making, okay, staff didn't feel they were involved and then that improved. Uh, goal congruence look, look like that's the direction that leadership and staff are heading is uh, very consistent. Appraisal and recognition, it looks like it's good at the school. Uh, professional growth is good at the school. Curriculum coordination is uh, equivalent to state averages. Okay, this is one where parents would like to know the discipline policy from the view of the teachers. Uh, so in 2006, there is a bit of a gap. Teachers felt there wasn't really an effective dis discipline pol policy. Looks like that improved the following year. Um, so efforts were made to improve that, uh, which was good. So if we go along and have a look at some of the other criteria, um, some of the the other things that parents would be inter interested in is student motivation. So at this particular school, students, staff felt that students are highly motivated, way above state, state means. Uh, decision making of students uh, looked like it was along state means and then students were given a little bit more responsibility. Learning environment is uh, good, so above state averages. And then the last categories, uh, student misbehaviour, which is an important thing for parents to know. So staff felt that the uh, behaviour was excellent at this school. Um, this particular category show, shows the same thing. Although staff felt, you can see in this one, that the staff felt highly overworked, um, and fair degree of staff distress, fair degree of school distress. So there's a sort of mixed bag of, of uh, implications there, but uh, the detail is informative of the school culture.